Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Henry VIII. This is for Mason. I take two fingers in the center at the top and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line, curved line going down. Come back to the dot, we're going to draw a straight line, curved line going down. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a straight line down, curved line over. Come on the right hand side, straight line down, curved line over. Come over here on the left and we're going to draw a curved line out, curved line in. Come on the right, curved line out, curved line in. Come right about here and we're going to draw a slightly curved line out off the side of the paper on the left. Come right about here, we're going to draw a slightly curved line out on the side of the paper on the right. Okay? Come right about here in the center and we draw a curved line down off the page on the left, curve line down off the page on the right. Come back to the left, right about here we're going to draw a curve line down off the page on the left and we're going to draw a curve line down off the page on the right. Now come back up here to the left and right about here we're just going to draw a straight diagonal out, curve line over, straight diagonal in, connect, and now we're going to draw it again. We're going to mimic that line again. Skinny mini. Straight line out, curve line over, straight line in, connect. Now midpoint right about here put a dot and from that dot we're going to draw a big curve line out, down, and right about there we go wavy, wavy, wavy line up and connect. Alright, inside this whole space we're going to draw square, triangle, square, triangle, all the way across the space, square, triangle, square, triangle. At every point I want you to add a baby circle. Now, every single point represents part of a jewel, so these can all be part of the decoration, but know that these are probably going to be jewels, but every point needs a little baby circle. Okay, now we come over here on the left and we're just going to draw a wavy line down, connect on the left, and over here on the right, wavy line down on the right. Come back up to this section and we're just going to draw curved lines all the way inside that space. Come back up, curved line, all the way inside that space. And if you can fit one more, curve line all the way inside that space. Okay. Now we're coming on the inside. On the left hand side, just draw a curve line. On the right side, curve line. Come back to the left, slightly curve line, half circle, slightly curve line, half circle on the right. Come in the center and we're just going to draw a straight line down curve line out, in, out, and leave that open. And right down below we're just going to draw a slightly wavy line going across. Now, he has a very close edged beard. So this is beard even though you might go, what? Alright, so we're going to do some big curve lines around. Keep going. Back up 
to there. Then we're going to come below it and do some more curved lines below it. Keep going. Keep going. And then he's got a skinny mini mustache. So we're going to do wavy lines, curvy lines across, and let's do another row and another row. Okay? All right. Now, inside this space right here, we're going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, connect. And then we're going to draw some baby circles, however many you can. And around the baby circles, we're just going to put a wavy line. And the reason why is because he's King Henry VIII, and they wore some really ornate, embellished outfits. Okay, I think that's it. We'll know once we start coloring. Okay, let's see how we're going to color him in. Okay, I know how I am. Sometimes I start working on these and I forget where I am and the next thing you know things aren't colored in right. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with a green, a light green, and if it's a square I'm going to color those little baby circles green and probably the inside green also. Because like I said, these are jewels. Then I'm going to take a red for rubies. And I'm going to color, or try to color, the baby circles around these. Whoops. And these should all be red. This is his hat. Okay. Then the whole entire hat is colored in black. So this all is black. Now, if I were you, and I'm not, but if I were you and I was doing this, I would draw one day and take the next day to color because this is going to take a couple of sessions because there's just so much stuff going on in his outfit. And, you know, as befits a king. Then this little edge, we're going to make this black too. Okay? So just on his hat, He's got jewels and he's got gold. And this section right here, which we're going to leave alone, is a feather. Okay, so just this section alone, he's got all kinds of stuff going on. And then you're going to color maybe the insides of the triangles. Put a little on the squares. Not too much, just a little bit of color. All right, now we move down to, we're going to give him some black eyeballs. And now we are going to do double coloring on his hair. But first we need to do his face. So I went and found apricot or peach, and this is all face. And he was a white man, so if you don't have skin color, you can leave him white and that would be okay. This is all white, I mean all uh, peach. These are his ears, don't forget his ears. And this little section down here, this is part of his neck, okay? But now we're going to double color his hair. He was a ginger, so he's got red hair. So what I'm going to do is double color first with orange. And these little curved lines, these are also his beard. So I'm going to color these all orange in the bottom row. I'm going to color all orange. And then with my brown crayon, I'm going to go and double color over the orange. Because you always work light to dark. And that takes a little bit of that punch off the orange. Because now we know it's a double color with some brown. Okay? He was a huge man. He was a big guy. And the way he looked kind of gave off a charisma that people talked about. He was very charismatic. You noticed him when he walked in. Big man. Okay. Now we go down to his robes. And like I said, he wore a lot of heavily 
embroidered robe. So we're going to do this section red on the left and the right. And then the middle section, I'm going to take a brown and I'm just going to do some dark brown lines. One, two, three on the left, one, two, three on the right. And then color lightly over that to kind of give it a little bit of texture. And then this section inside, you can really almost do any colors you want. I did the outside part orange. They look like flowers or fried eggs. I did the inside kind of a goldy yellow on the inside. And then around all of it, I did my brown. Now, if you go online to Google and you look up Henry VIII's portraits, you'll see how just beautiful, beautiful embroidered robes and jeweled crowns and just gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Henry VIII all colored in. I knew I'd forget something. I did turquoise blue-green stripes in the background. We'll let you be the artist and make that choice on your own. Okay, bye-bye.